frozen two doll cakes. Yes, we are making two more. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Kirsten Bell. Welcome to Koali Pops. Let's get started. Now if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. It really helps me out and let me know what doll cakes you'd like to see me make next. I want to do modern designs for all the Disney princesses. So which one would you like to see first? Pocahontas, Tiana, or Aurora? Now the reason I decided to create new doll cakes for Frozen 2, the previous doll cakes that I created were all created before the movie was released and I don't think that any of them really showed how free Elsa became at the end of Frozen 2. And so I wanted to create two more dresses that were inspired by the free spirit as well as her dress at the end of the movie. Now for this cake, I am starting with my doll cake and I got a very long serrated knife. You guys, you see it? Ooh, it goes all the way down. I don't have to worry about it getting stuck because it's super long, it's like 14 inches. Now I realized that if I use an oval cookie cutter that's the same size as her waist on top, it'll fit her legs and then as her legs go down, I use a smaller oval cookie cutter so that there's more stability since it fits tightly around the rest of her legs. Now we got some buttercream going on into the middle. So if you haven't seen Frozen 2 yet, it is on Disney Plus. So you don't have an excuse because you're at home, you can watch it. Now I am making two doll cakes for this video. I decided to create a doll cake for Anna as well. However, I still wanted the fondant on the Anna cake to look as flowy as Elsa's. So you can see when I'm creating the Anna cake, I added some fabric lines to the fondant even before I applied it to the cake so that it looks more flowy, more airy. Now I went with an orange color because Anna has always sort of represented autumn to me. And I just love the way that this color looked on the doll. Now I went with an asymmetrical look. I actually took this from a Google image picture that I found. I did want this to feel like the fabric was like bunched up at the top. So I added more lines there as well and then I started to paint. Now I'm just using orange and because I don't want this to be just like one strict color, I'm making this an ombre cake. So it's darker at the top and it gets lighter as it goes down the rest of the gown. I didn't do very much and usually I add panels to add flow, but I think that the lines that I added beforehand actually, I mean, they do enough. I don't need to add any more and the simplicity of this dress is what makes it so beautiful. In this video, I did want to highlight people and organizations that are helping fight COVID-19. The organizations that I have listed in the description box are all organizations that are helping people who are deeply affected by this virus. So if you can donate your time or your money, please do. It was time to start decorating my Elsa cake. So just like the Anna cake, I added some lines to my fondant before I added it to the cake. Then I started to enhance all of the folds I created. Now, one of the things that I loved about this movie is that there's no actual villain. The villain is her grandfather, but it's in the past and you're only like reliving the travesty through memories. But the song she sings and the journey that she goes on to discover that she is who she is. I don't know. 
I don't want to give it away, you guys. I just love how her outfit changes and becomes more free and she just lets down her hair. And I love how her hair sort of symbolizes how free her spirit gets. Especially from the first movie to the second. First it's high up, then it goes down into this braid, and then at the end of the second movie, it's all the way down. Now I wanted to add a little bit of flow to this, so I'm adding three sort of ribbons of fondant on one side. I just like the asymmetrical look. And then I made her top flow as well. I think the lines that I placed on the fondant really make this look like bunched up fabric, which gives it a very airy feel. Now I added two very dangly straps to create her sleeves and I started to paint my cake. I'm just using a little bit of blue luster dust mixed with some magic sauce. Just to add a little bit of blue to symbolize all of the ice. I didn't want this to be too color heavy so it's very almost like pastel. Then I let down Elsa's hair and voila, my Elsa doll cake was complete. Do you like it? I love it. I think it looks very cool. I love the way these dresses came out and it was really hard for me initially when I finished this because it was too simple. I mean usually I'm like used to doing a lot of beading work with icing but it wasn't really necessary for the designs that I wanted. So I took a walk around the block, came back, took a fresh look at it, and I just, I fell in love with the simplicity of the gown. And I think that the ombre effect on Anna's dress as well as on Elsa's dress are enough. Now I'm curious, what did you think about Frozen 2? Who was your favorite character? The rock giants, hands down, were so cool. I just wish we were able to see a battle between the rock giants and Marshmallow the snow monster. It didn't happen, but hopefully in Frozen 3. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace!